What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I'm getting ready to go thrifting. But I don't know if you can see behind me here. But I got a car full of stuff. I sold um, 20 some items on eBay and I got about 160 some items going to Amazon FBA. There's a bug crawling on my finger. Let me get that off there because I don't know what that bug is. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go drop all this stuff off. I actually have three more boxes I can't even fit in the sole. So I'm just going to drop them off tomorrow. Sold a bunch of ceiling fans, so it's taking up space. Um, but yeah, we're going to go drop this stuff off at FedEx, UPS, and the post office. Three places to stop today, so let's go. Here we are in Goodwill, treasure hunting in this miscellaneous junk aisle. Looking for anything we can flip online. Here is a weather shield for a stroller. I've actually tried to sell those before. For whatever reason, I can't sell them. <laughs> a yellow jacket trap. For $4.99, I actually need a carpenter bee trap because they're invading my shed. Don't think that will work. Hoover A vacuum bags. How much is it? Oh, the suspense. $2.99. Unfortunately, they only sell for $7. So paying $3 would not be worth it. Some binoculars over there. Not worth anything. Um, not good ones. In very bad condition. You got some of the uh, diapers and stuff there. I don't really mess with those anymore. They're just always a pain. Um, I don't sell them on Amazon and eBay. They just don't seem to move too well. Digging for calculators because I found a TI-84 Plus calculator one time in this area. So I'm always looking. Those calculators are not worth it. More adult diapers and briefs down on the bottom. And unfortunately, that's about it in this aisle. But I did end up finding a couple items in this store. I have been inside of a Goodwill and I picked up a couple things, a couple small things here. Some vacuum bags look like they were selling okay. I should make about $10 profit on these on eBay. And I got some sort of Kohler set here. It is a sealed bag. It's got a couple items in there. This was selling for about $30 on Amazon new. Uh, I'll sell it on eBay. So we'll make some money there. Probably about 15, 20 bucks max is all. But hey, I'll take it. Waiting for Salvation Army to open. I don't even know why I stop here. <laughs> we'll go inside and see if we can find anything. Looking at the media in this aisle, trying to find some hidden gems in the VHS. Not seeing a whole lot, even in uh, video games. They never have good video games here. I did find some video games today though at another Goodwill. So you'll see those at the end of the video. But I spotted this up here as a DVD set an Oprah set for $10. I looked it up just in case. On eBay, it's selling for $9 shipped, so it costs more to buy it at Goodwill. Uh, unfortunately, just not worth it. And those are some cassettes. I think they've been there forever. There's some over 18 comics. I'm sure the kids really obey that sign right. I have not sold a lot of comics, but I have sold graphic novel lots before and done pretty well. Here we are at another Goodwill, looking in the toy area. Here's a sealed Wii game. I believe that's a Wii game I've seen at this one as well for a, quite a while. There's some Legos for $2.99 loose. Not seeing any minifigs in there really. And I don't, don't know why I didn't pick this up. Not for resale, but I do have a tote where I buy loose Legos to fill it. Uh, it would have been a, a fair price to get those. Uh, but I did not buy them. I just put them back down for some reason. There's a Imaginex uh, dinosaur. Unfortunately, this did not have the remote, and that's where the money is. You can sell the remote for 40 bucks, and uh, even the battery cover on this thing can sell for 15 So if it had the remote, I would have picked it up for sure. The loose dinosaur, there were no solds, so I don't really don't know if it sells or not. And it's large and heavy, so I didn't want to mess with it for a little bit of profit. New, it sells for 200 so I can't imagine it being too valuable loose. People will really want the remote because that's what gets lost or damaged. Here is the last Goodwill for today, looking in the games. And uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot of stuff going on here. This is getting more empty and more empty. There's a, a new tote of uh, McDonald's toys. Not worth it at all. Not seeing much. There's some Dimension Dale sets. I think they're like some sort of puzzle. I wasn't sure. I've never, I've never seen them before. So I decided to take a look at them. Unfortunately, they don't sell very well new. About $20 and, you know, it doesn't look like they're moving. So used, definitely not something I want to mess with. So we put that back. 
And unfortunately, not a whole lot happening in this aisle. Look at this haul. We got some amazing stuff here. Let's go through it real quick. I got these headphones from Best Buy. This is actually retail arbitrage. Found uh, 17 of these. Now I paid nearly $1,000 for these headphones. Uh, there's two JBLs here, and then we got two Sony. Um, well, not two Sony. We got the rest in Sony. Uh, and they're pretty good headphones. Uh, they're normally $300. I got them for about $50. I believe I paid about $60 for the JBLs. This one, the plastic's off, but I'm going to keep that one. I figure, why not? These have great reviews. Now, I don't know how much I'm going to make on these, so it's kind of a, a gamble. I don't think I'll lose money. I think I'm going to make anywhere between 25 and 150% return on my investment because I think I can get about $100 profit uh, if I can sell them on Amazon. Now, I've been selling Sony stuff for nearly 10 years on Amazon with no problems. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've ever gotten any IP complaints from Sony. Um, I, I still I sell Sony all the time, never had any problems, so I'm pretty comfortable selling Sony on Amazon. However, I bet the price will go down on this. I don't know, you probably can't even see with this light shining here. You're probably a glare or something. But even if I sell them on eBay, I think right now I can almost double my money. And this is a good product. It will move. I may just hold them till Christmas and uh, sell them then. But either way, I picked them up. Why not? And we got some rackets here. Some good rackets. I don't remember the exact prices. Uh, I think it was this one that was about $40. About $60 used if it was in better condition. It's got some scuffs around the side here. No major damage though. It is a Pro Staff 6.1 stretch. And it was $3.99. The grip's still pretty good. Unlike this one right here, the grip is not good. Um, this, what is it? Triad? Looks like Triad 3.0. Uh, the grip was so bad, I got black all over my hands when I first grabbed it because it's rotting. So I'll have to put some wrap around there before I sell it. I believe this, this one was like $24 plus shipping. This one's about 40 plus shipping. Um, I might be getting prices mixed up, but this one was only $1.99 there on the bottom. So definitely worth picking up and selling these. It's a good season as well. We got some video games. This came from two different Goodwills. We got a Flight Simulator 2004. It is still sealed, I believe. There's a seal on there. I hope it's the original seal. I'll just have to show, show it on eBay to the buyer. Let them decide. Has some box damage. Well, I should be able to sell this. Well, I saw one new sell for $50. Um, so I'm going to price this probably at $25 and uh, <laughs> just try to move it. Paid the $2.99 price for games. It's very rare I find games. And here's some PS3 games. It was obvious that they just put out these games because no one had went through them. Here is a saw. And all these are complete and in great condition. Uh, I don't remember the exact prices on these. But uh, yeah, this is the best one. Folklore. And a lot of these might go into my collection. I don't know. Uh, this was about $30. And uh, probably more on Amazon. I usually go off of, off of Amazon prices because if they're in this kind of condition, this is how I would sell them. Um, I don't know if that's something stuck to it or what. I don't remember. I don't think this one was that much. I think maybe an $8 game. I think this was about a $20, $25 game. I don't know. Some okay games. Uh, this is so rare to find games that haven't been picked through. Here is this TomTom. Tom. Uh, it says $14.99. It says brand new. They put tape all around it. There's no seal. So obviously it's not brand new Goodwill. I don't know what they're thinking. I was kind of being grumpy and, and talking to the cashier about it. And she's like, well, let me just cut it open. You can look in there. So she cut it open for me. It looks almost new. Like it should have a screen protector on it. You know, like the plastic film. It didn't have that. So we're going to get this tested. She's like, make sure you return it within seven days. Of course I will. Uh, if it doesn't work, but even used on Amazon, these are selling for about a hundred bucks. So, uh, yeah, in this condition, as long as it works, everything will look to be in there. We'll make some great profit on this. If you watch my channel, you know I buy these Who News. I hoard them like a squirrel hoarding nuts. And then at Christmas time, I sell them used. So I paid $2.99 for this one. And I don't know, I'll probably make about $15 profit. They always sell great around Christmas time. Here's another game I got in Goodwill, Lie Detector from, I believe, 87. Look at that price, 99 cents. You don't see that too often anymore on games at Goodwill. This one's a pretty good one. Pretty, oh, I didn't check Amazon now that I think about it. Uh, eBay, though, 
plus shipping. So if it's complete, it looks to be in great condition in there. Even if it's not complete, it looked like the pin was selling for about $12. Uh, the board was selling for about $20. So uh, yeah, we're still gonna make money on that. Look at this find. We got some Sentry generic wireless headphone set, $4.99. Used to be at Big Lots, Big Lots for $14.99. And uh, they're selling pretty well on eBay for 40 bucks. Or was it 30 bucks? I don't remember exactly, but <laughs> I went ahead and bought it. Either way, we're gonna make some great profit on that. Up here, I got this Duplo set. This is brand new for $2.99, and this is really rare or something. I could only find uh, pre-owned. I believe there might have been one new coming. Ooh, I see a mark there I didn't see before. Won't be selling it on Amazon anyway. Even on Amazon, it's, you know, no one's selling it. I do know that Lego sets, hard to find ones, you know, are worth picking up, especially for $2.99. I actually sold an older Duplo for about 40 bucks that was rare like this a few years ago. So I picked this up and uh, I don't know what I'll price it at yet, but I, I would say a minimum $20 profit on this. Picked up some shoes. I got these Sperry's. I don't usually pick up Sperry's unless they're unique and cheap and in great condition. They, these meet all that criteria. Um, I don't know what I'll get for them. Uh, I think there's one pair on there for $30 that I could find. And it had it sold, so I'll go ahead and put mine on there. It's a different size. A lot of times these metallic and shiny type shoes, the glittery, they got enough damage on them that they're not worth selling. But I picked them up. We'll see how they do. The same Goodwill, I picked up these Brooks. They had just come out. These are in amazing condition. And they were $4.99. And these are a $40 pair of shoes. Easily. Over here, we got this My Passport. Now, this is a hard drive, external, $9.99. It says it's designed for Mac, uh, USB 3.0, that's good. This is something I may keep for myself because it's a pretty good price. Even though I got a lot of storage right now, I just upgraded to a uh, another 2 <laughs> terabyte hard drive. But anyway, this sells used for $40. But there it is. I think I showed those two items in the car. So that's it. A great haul today. Went to about seven or eight stores. And we'll make some great profits of course, the estimated profit total is on the corner of the screen for your convenience. I really want to thank everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button on the way out for me. It would be appreciated. You can subscribe to see all my reselling adventures. You can find me on Instagram, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Until next time.